Millie from Second Spring Soaps and I was just going to show you my new colorants. I'm very excited. I got some colorant from Brambleberry.com. They're the high pH lab colors so they can stay true in cold process soap. I just wanted to show you the results of some of my testing. Um, this one here is my control. It's just a basic soap with tallow, olive oil, and coconut oil in it. So just totally normal, exactly what I normally do. Uh, my first color here, this yellow, is called uh, Marigold Yellow. It's very pretty. It's nice and rich. This color here is Vibrant Orange, which in my video it looks kind of red, but it actually is a very nice uh, burnt orange color. This here is Adobe Brick, which is my red color, and I've actually used it before, and I'm very happy with it, so I got it again. And all the way down here, this is my Grape or my purple color. It looks a little gray in the video, but it is a nice kind of grayish purple color in real life. This here is Azure Blue, which is very, very nice. I am very happy with this blue, and it looks like it's going to stay true in the soap, which is very hard to find in cold process colorants. And then finally, this is Soft Jade. The green that I was using was from Brambleberry, and it was called, um, I believe it was Granny's Green Apple. It's like Green Apple or Electric Apple or some, some sort of variation like that. And it was a very bright green, a little bit too bright for my taste, so I'm hoping that this soft jade will give me a nice softer green, softer than the green that I was using. So these are my colorants, and you can also see my mess. My mess looks really awesome. But um, I'm going to do another video later. I want to compare these colors that I'm seeing here to the colors after a few weeks to see if the cure changes them at all, if they get darker, lighter, if they morph at all. So um, I just thought you guys would like to see my Christmas present in action. Woo! Uh, you can find these colorants at brambleberry.com. These are the high, just remember, these are the high pH colorants. These aren't your normal lab colors. These are made specifically for cold process soap. So make sure if you're working with cold process soap and you pick up the lab colors that you get the ones specifically made for cold process soap or else they might morph. So yeah, these are my colorants and stay tuned in a couple weeks and we'll see what the differences look like. So okay, happy soaping. Bye guys.